Hey, thanks for watching the Horror Show with Sean and Joel. Ain't no other place to go. I'm Roddy Piper. <laughs> thanks. Everybody and welcome to the horror show, the show that dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events. I'm Sean and I am doing the intro alone today. Uh, so last week we talked about leprechauns one, two, and three. This week we talk about leprechaun four, leprechaun in space. This was probably the worst of the bunch. Um, it's a little shorter than most of our episodes. I think it runs like 45 minutes total, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> basically, I got I was sick that night, and uh, I just, after I recorded that, we were going to press on, and I just could not, I couldn't do it anymore. And good thing I didn't. Uh, it turns out I have strep throat pretty badly. So uh, I don't think this week will be delayed. I am now on a... Uh, some crazy drugs that is supposed to make me better and uh we should be able to record this week and have leprechaun N next week's gonna be what is it leprechaun in the hood and <laughs> leprechaun back to the hood oh god and then we're debating we are debating um we we're probably going to record another episode for the following week which might be it might finally happen we might record Rumpelstiltskin. I know. We if the, if we were in a stadium, it would be erupting in applause right now. I know. I know. We're finally doing it. Finally getting to the big leagues here. Um, <laughs> so stupid. Um, so anyway, so I hope you enjoy this. I know it's shorter than usual, but thank you for sticking with us. Thank you guys for downloading. We really appreciate it. I know. I know we've been kind of off and on lately, and now. Me with the strep throat is uh, brutal, but I promise we won't screw up anymore. Oh, uh, if you guys pre-ordered a shirt, also, I just wanted to let you know, if you pre-ordered a shirt, A, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate that. And this week, I should find out, I should be getting them this week, but I'll, I'll definitely have an answer as to when I will be receiving them. Um, so it's not long, and I will ship those out like the day I get them. I'll be so excited to ship those out. That is until I bring like 800 packages to the post office. So, anyway, guys, up next, Leprechaun 4 in space. Enjoy. All right, guys. So, we move on. Leprechaun 4. <laughs> uh, colon. <laughs> in space. <laughs> Not exactly. That title doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Does it? Like, I feel like it should be Leprechaun 4 colon leprechaun in space you should but it's leprechaun for colon in, in space, space. <laughs> <laughs> just like we're just in space yeah uh february 25th 1997 direct to video um would you believe me if i told you they gave them a bigger budget for this one no i oh, would they not did. they did bigger budget uh the <laughs> three was 1.2 million and four was 1.6 million. That is, somebody's making some very bad decisions. <laughs> I was just going to say, I've never handled a million dollars in my life, but I feel like. You probably be pretty protective of it. Yeah. Even $200,000 or $400,000. Like maybe not have a character with metal plates or a. Dude, there was so much <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> shit in this movie. It, this movie is bad. Beginning 
to end. And it made me queasy to watch <laughs> because it's that terrible, terrible made for TV sci-fi movie quality of everything. I think sci-fi movies are better. Like better looking. Maybe. I All mean, the special sets, effects wise. The yeah. sets just look like garbage. Well, it's just these like weird the caves boxes and like and... boxes and <laughs> when they're in the ship, it's just these like things piled up or giant empty rooms or a club which was like, oh my plastic God. lawn furniture. <laughs> well, there's only three people on the entire ship. And they have giant <laughs> plastic tumblers. <laughs> like they have the shit like there's nothing there that you're on a military aircraft that has a club on it. Makes no sense. That's fine. I'm willing to live with it. <laughs> but if they've spent the money I'm putting in a club, something tells me you're not going to drink out of like 32 ounce plastic tumblers. <laughs> and you can know they're plastic because they're like banging them together and it's just clicking. <laughs> like it is awful. It is absolutely awful. I mean, um, this did this even feel like a Leprechaun movie? No. Not at all. Wasn't. No. He doesn't do anything like a Leprechaun. leprechaun No. And is he even well, going Well, he finally got his bride. No, he's going after gold. Yeah, but, they but, shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't even know. Yeah, it brings back the bride aspect, and he still has the gold aspect. But you don't even know about the gold part until, like, three quarters of the way through the movie. The whole thing with the bride was so weird, too. Well, she's well, a space princess. But she didn't know. She, at the beginning, she's, like, dumbfounded she's like, when she wakes up. And she, then oh she's wait! Like on his I'm side. gonna be your bride, and then she's on his side, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna get him," and then she's like, "No, I'll kill my father for you." I thought there was gonna be insane. like a swerve where like she just showed her boobs for no reason. Well, that yeah. happens. <laughs> but I thought she was gonna do something like, uh, like I don't know, like they were gonna reveal that, she, like that alien race is really dumb and just follows like whoever, whoever they like <laughs> see. So, like, if Leprechaun leaves, they would follow somebody else and be like, oh, I love you. But No. And why was there a space princess? Why was the Leprechaun Why was space? it in space? Good, well, because he was in the guy's dick. No. He was in space, space before, before oh, yeah, he was right. in the guy's dick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my question. Why was he in space? And why was he wearing a tuxedo in space? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get married. We open, When we open <laughs> to our first scene with the Leprechaun, and it's like, moment. Two, like we really we get introduced to these group of marines that are um on a search and destroy mission in outer space of course um a sergeant with a giant chrome metal plate because <laughs> in the future they're just like fuck it we're just gonna leave your wound open and exposed an exposed metal plate did space. they even establish though that this was the future it was the future that's what i'm asking <laughs> No, I'm kidding. It must be the fucking future. There's <laughs> yeah, space. They're flying <laughs> planes around. I mean, well, yeah, but they're really spaceship. shitty looking spaceships. Well, that's just the CGI. You have to use your imagination. I guess you're right. They might as well have just put a big blob on the screen and been like, <laughs> imagine a spaceship. They're in, there. A ne- <laughs> yeah, they're in a nebula far, far away. <laughs> oh, my God. The, the whole thing felt like uh, alien or aliens. Yeah. Like even the, even one of the guys look like Bill Paxton from Aliens. Yes. I wish Bill Paxton was in this. I do too. I do too. Bill Paxton doesn't though. <laughs> I'm just can I just show you my notes? <laughs> oh fuck, what happened? Um this was not intentional. I was just looking at all my notes and almost like half the page starts off with the word why. <laughs> <laughs> why why where why yeah. why why why. So we we meet these um these uh <laughs> Marines who are in space search and destroy mission. Uh, they've been told that a doctor is joining them. <laughs> By the way, they're on a spaceship. Like, <laughs> how does somebody just randomly join you that no one knows? They're, everyone's like, "Who the fuck is this girl?" And and they're like, "Oh, she's the doctor. She's with you now." You guys have been on the same ship. I for didn't like, even think about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, because there's point. only like six people. Yeah. <laughs> of course you know who she is. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, oh, I've never seen this girl in my life. And the entire ship's like... <laughs> we don't a, trust you. The entire ship is like a cargo ship, except for the, like their dance it's hall. It's completely empty. <laughs> the whole ship is completely empty. <laughs> There's the nothing there. Even, even I, never, the, I didn't even think about that. Even the laboratory where they're doing all these experiments has like a, a table in it. And a doorbell. <laughs> like two <laughs> <house>. a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, they, they reach this planet... And 
this the leprechaun happens to be on the planet also with a space princess. What are the odds of that? The space princess is. <laughs> How did he up. get there? No, that's what I want to know. But they just decided to fuck it. The leprechaun's just. <laughs> He's there. just there, dude. <laughs> He's just in space at this point. And Wait, hold on. I, like, I like how, like, in each movie, he goes to a more ridiculous setting. Like, he's in Vegas, and he's in space, and then, then they decide Compton. him being in the hood is the most, like, absurd of all. That was actually one of my notes. Like, like they were just, it's almost offensive. But, and, and it has to be in Compton. Yeah. Like The setting is so good, movie, they had to go there twice. When are old white guys going to stop making, like, Compton? Like, and, and then there was a Detroit joke in one of these, too. And I was just like... Stupid white riders, like, <sighs> come on. You can use, like, literally any city. Any city. You can yeah. use, there's a million in our state that we can. Or you could just make one up because you put them in fucking outer or space. That. Yeah, or that. Or <laughs> Maybe that, a different it's a country. Fucking, yeah. It's a movie about leprechauns. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit? No one cares about what the Why don't you just make it in Ireland, like we said? <sighs> fucking idiot. Because it just makes too much sense. But now the point I'm trying to get to is. The leprechaun steps out. The woman is chained up, and she's like, "Oh, well, what's going on?" And the leprechaun steps out from behind the corner in a full tuxedo and a giant long stem cigarette holder. <laughs> <laughs> he's in space on a foreign planet, alien planet, and then he's like, "She she asks him something, and he's like, oh, I have dinner prepared for you,' and he has a like a." Five star restaurant table <laughs> sitting there in space. Uh, it is obnoxious. And again, like we said, this woman somehow is like, okay, I'm in with this. Yeah. She's like, let's go kill my dad. <laughs> so weird. So weird. And, but she also thinks the military's there to rescue her. They th- or she thinks it's her dad rescuing her, which right. it is not. It is our Marines who come in. Save the day. They shoot the shit out of that little leprechaun. Uh, they pick up the princess. Uh, but not before. <clears throat> leprechaun does give his life for her. Because they throw the grenade. Yeah. And Leprechaun is all about marrying this woman so much that he actually dives on the grenade. Paul, what, <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I'm just telling you, dude. Are you leprechaun, telling me this is a true love story? Le- yes. <laughs> Like, this thing, this is deeper now. Is it still a real love story when he calls her like, what does he call her? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, no, it's something way worse. It's like a, like a cock blocking bitch or something. <laughs> it's like nut smashing bitch or something like that. It's yeah, terrible. And she's it. like, what? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> And he also says that he's going to wed her, bed her, and then bury her in one day. <laughs> so maybe you're right. Maybe it's not a true love story. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, also, it's, we, not, it's not a true story. <laughs> it's, it's like, there's no st- elements of a story at all. Neither's love and basketball. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm moving on from this conversation. This conversation makes no sense. Uh, why did the leprechaun have a lightsaber? <laughs> it's in it's space. In space. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Why do the Marines have these shitty little guns and a leprechaun have a lightsaber? <laughs> I don't know. That is interesting. <laughs> that's a good question. All the leprechauns have these crappy guns, and the leprechaun <laughs> just pulls out a light sla- lightsaber shillelagh. <laughs> it just starts fucking people up. Um, so they kill the I leprechaun. Fucking hate the leprechaun so much. He, he's terrible. They kill him. <laughs> Marine starts peeing on his corpse because whatever. And like the leprechaun like shoots his essence up this guy's dick hole. Yeah. And That's essentially exactly what he does. And, and essentially, I mean I guess he impregnates him in a way. Yeah. As we find out a little later. Um I'm all for more dick hole scenes. I'm not. What? What? Well, I don't want to see them, but I just want to... I'm all for more... Uh, Explain yourself. You know, too often we see the women being impregnated. Why not see... Um, you, you need some more juniors in your life. I need some more juniors. Yeah. I need some more stuff going up that cram that stuff up the dick hole and you're uh, pregnant. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're in the, we're in the horror movies. You know, you just make that work. Jason. 
Wait, 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 you want Jason to go up some guy's dick hole? Yeah. <laughs> Full size Jason. He's like 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> no, he'll shoot his essence also up, and baby Jason okay. will come out. A little machete comes out. Mm hmm. I mean, why not? It's just as. <laughs> what? Sure, <laughs> would be cool with that. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> I have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're also introduced at this point to a, a fellow by the name of Dr. Mitten Hands. <laughs> it's as stupid as it sounds. M I T T E N. He looks way more stupid. H A N D S. And yes, he does look <laughs> insanely stupid. He looks like. I don't know. I, I can't tell if it's a more disgusting or slightly less disgusting Marlon Brando. And his shitty accent. And if you think my accents are bad. This he guy's... sounds just like gold member. <laughs> gold member. Yeah. Yeah. He does. he does. Until I realized he wasn't gold member. He was Hitler. <laughs> Wait, what? The, the scene when he was pounding on the desk. Yeah. Was just like Hitler's rants at like fucking Nuremberg. But what? What does that have to do with gold member? Like, I thought he had this shitty like. He thought he was crazy gold Dutch member, but fucking he's accent. He's Hitler. Oh, but, <laughs> and, and then at one point he was yelling at the soldiers when when the like the sergeant was like, "No, our time's up at midnight and we're done." And he's like, "Eins, wein, you will get the ship." And the, and I was like, "What the fuck is happening?" You can get that vibe, <clears throat> I, Paul. I don't know. He turned into a fucking Brun, Brundle tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? And he has the shittiest accent of all time. I never got past the accent and his stupid fucking face. That I just wanted to smash every time it was on the screen. He's just a disgusting idiot. He never has his shirt on. Disgusting. Never has his shirt on, which we find out later. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, so, um, they get back on the ship. The guy gets the leprechaun essence up his dick hole, but is like... <laughs> And everyone's just like, oh, man, he's got the clap. It's like, nope, no one else saw the green ship fly into his dick. <laughs> no, it's just us. Okay, cool. Uh, they get back on the ship. And, oh, did you guys check to see uh, the girl from Tool Time? What? No. Yeah, the Binford Tool girl was the brunette. Huh. Yeah. GTFO. I was really fingers crossed for uh, some topless scene, but <laughs> nothing. Dolores. Dolores, yeah. God, why do you know her name? I had to look it up today, and I was like, it can't be Dolores. That's a weird name. And then I clicked it, and I was like, yeah, it's Dolores. <laughs> How do you know that? I remember from when she fell from, like, 9,000 feet, and they're like, <laughs> Dolores! <laughs> and they somehow got down there, and she was still alive long enough to go, kill him for me. <laughs> like, it was just, like... The size of the Empire State Building fall. <laughs> and she was okay. Dolores. Well, not okay, but. <laughs> oh, that's good. That was really good. Um, well, Tool Time, Dolores, and uh, starts hooking up with the guy that got the leprechaun and shoved up his pee hole. And Wait, can I just say at this point, uh, my wife asked me, <laughs> well, she goes, you I made a note of this. Wife this. 20, min 20 minutes and three seconds in, she goes, Has anything happened yet? <laughs> and I said, No, not really. And when I, she goes, How long has it been on? And I told her the time. She goes, Oh, God, it's only been 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, it's brutal, brutally paced. And, and again, it's not a leprechaun movie, and you're waiting for it to become a leprechaun movie, and it never happens. <laughs> never fucking happens. It's just, it's just, the story of these Marines on a ship. Yeah. It's There's just, hardly it, it, any leprechaun stuff in it. No. Until the end. The rest is just <laughs> Marines living day to day. Yeah. It's like, a, it's, <laughs> it's like a Lost in Space movie. Yeah. It's so weird. It is the weirdest thing. And so she starts hooking up with this guy. She starts hooking up with this guy. And um, oh, all of a sudden, you, they cut through a cut of his crotch. And it's just going crazy. Dude, the biggest boner ever. And the, mo and the most magnificent music is playing while he's getting this. She must have been giving him the best over the pants <laughs> handy ever. Because it like it seems like she's going to town. And he's talking about how she's going to rip his little guy off. 
And dude's full on wearing pants with his fly up. So I'm like, what? I did not even pick up. I know. Now you say that, yeah. Um, and then it starts going crazy down there. It looks like there's like a, a raccoon <laughs> in, his, in his pants. And uh, he starts screaming. And he's screaming. His pants are ripping open. And she, she screams, what did I do? <laughs> are you serious? You have that limited knowledge of the human anatomy to think you've done anything <laughs> like that is not you um and it's just and the leprechaun comes out of his dick looks like an alien chest burster yeah and flies away <laughs> dick and flies away now paul had never seen this before but i've been telling paul about this for years and you... it, it it was different than i thought it was going to be but after hearing about it for 15 to 20 years it almost lived up to the hype <laughs> This leprechaun does so many shitty impressions in this. He comes out oh and really does a John Wayne impression. Yeah. Well, well, hello there, Paul. Really he bad. also says, <laughs> I always wear a prophylactic. <laughs> it's not a pun, it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah. What does it have to do and with then it? he calls her Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It doesn't go da 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 charge. As soon as it pops out of his pants. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> Dude, that prophylactic joke makes no like how would wearing a condom at any point have prevented him from coming out of his dick. It, no, no. <laughs> like, why is that a joke? Who wrote that? Like, this is the one, this was the movie with all the really bad ones. And I, I'm, I have some other written down, but later on in the movie, the leprechaun, um, uses the, 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 the super, I don't know what you call it. Super size Ray to make things very big. <laughs> Leprechaun ends up making himself like a giant later on at the end of the movie. Why, why is that even there? It's, it's, I don't know. And then, but the worst part of the whole thing is the joke he says, cause he sees, he's chasing the, the military guys around and he goes, GI squirt. <laughs> What's, that's not even a word play. What squirt? I didn't even pick up on that cause I guess I didn't comprehend G- that it was supposed to be a joke. GI squirt. <laughs> It doesn't I mean, rhyme with Joe. He made himself big, so he could have just said grow. Yeah. It's not, yeah. That, hard, it's not that hard, people. <laughs> it could be anything. Uh, it's insane. G.I. Squirt. And he just says it. He doesn't... <laughs> he just goes, G.I. Squirt. <laughs> it's not even a joke. I'm not even sure how to process this. It's so stupid. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And the, he also did a British accent earlier. When he was in his tuxedo. He was doing a British accent. <laughs> like, wouldn't an alien be like, what the fuck are you doing? I've never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Stupid accent. Although, in, in, like, Star How Wars. does he know a John Wayne accent? He's been a fucking statue for, like, half the time of his life. And the other time, he's just getting blown up or, like, falling down wells. He's also he re- in space. <laughs> Is that even the same leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, Paul, we've already established but we also established the timelines. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, nothing makes sense. Everything sucks. Um, Howdy, Pilgrim. The, the Leprechaun also proceeds to start riddling off, like, just some insane bullshit. I don't know if you guys caught that. It's like a three-minute scene where he's just saying things. And I thought he was, it was, like, plot-driven. It's not. But it's nothing. <laughs> it's literally nothing. He's just talking about, like, lep- I don't even know what he's saying. Um... Leprechaun starts chasing the girl, gets kicked in the nuts, says, first dates are always the hardest. <laughs> it's not even a saying, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever said that. First dates are always the hardest. <laughs> it's probably a bad sign. Yeah. Yeah. These these puns are really bad. Like, he's not even making, like, a hard dick joke. <laughs> like, he, you, he got kicked in the nuts. You can make, like... I don't know. You could do anything, anything other anything. than saying first dates are the hardest. <laughs> I, I don't think that was. Or like when he came out of his dick, he could have easily made an ejaculation pun. Yeah. That would have been awesome. We also find out the two doctors, Dr. Mittenhand and <laughs> his bozo buddy, uh, are bringing the dead back to life. Did you know that fucking Mittenhands, a.k.a. Max Headroom, was on the ship the whole time? No. Okay, good. I didn't know if I was supposed to be shocked by that or not. Although, no, I mean, I just assumed he was on the shit. But they just showed a screen with his big stupid face. Well, like, where, where else? Basically, what it was, anyway. 
<laughs> That's true. Yeah, but I thought it was like being like transmitted in. Oh, from, like, I guess NASA. I mean, I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I, just yeah. really, I was just like, let me get through this. Yeah. But I was like, at that point in time, I was like, Ugh, how much time is left? Display. Dude, dude, I was, we're only oh, like oh, wait, forty minutes. Into oh wait, it. there's an hour left. Yeah. There's fuck. so much left, and, and it's so useless. Um, <laughs> there's a scene where, I mean, now the Marines are aware that there's, they keep calling it an alien, even though it, it's a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing more clear. They never refer to him as a leprechaun no, in the entire they, movie. They, they call they, him a monster or an alien. Or an alien. And I mean, he is, he is a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. He's dressed as a leprechaun. He looks exactly like a leprechaun. He might even refer to himself as a leprechaun, and he has an Irish accent. Um, so they decide that they're gonna. This was none of these scenes make sense. They're like, okay, we're going out into this area. I thought they were going out into space because they start suiting up, but it's still in the ship. But they just needed like a contamination suit to wear. Yes. Yes. Okay. Makes no sense. No. What makes even less sense? Is leprechauns in? It's the waste chamber, and the leprechaun and there's bacteria is wearing a suit. In, he's why, his would, suit. why would he go into that <laughs> chamber that's locked? A, but yes, him having his own. And suit how does they find a, I how is there a suit that. that fits him? Why would that <laughs> perfect. Fits him perfect. perfect. <laughs> it fits him perfectly, and he's carrying a knife. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> he's, he's so stupid. In that suit. Oh, he looks so dumb. When, and when you first see him, it's like the Marines are walking. It's like this straight shot. They're right on. And then the camera kind of pans to the left. And hiding behind a corner is the leprechaun <laughs> in a giant yellow hazmat suit. But he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it at all. He's just floating in space. Fine. He, he looks like he smells like shit. So I don't think he's going to be. I don't think there's any offensive smells that he's going to really have a problem with. Uh, it, it, <laughs> and he's carrying a knife. Okay. Well, the leprechaun kills one of them. Uh, well, he cuts the guy's suit. There's two Marines out there. He cuts one of the guy's suits. The other Marine carries him back valiantly. And they look in the suit and he's just a skeleton. Yeah. Like from a from a Yeah, he carries it all class. the way back and the, the scientist says something and he's like, But Mark and they look over and it's just a fucking skeleton with just shit coming off. So much skeleton. funnier than when I was watching it. Like realizing how stupid that is. Like, why would you carry that back still? It's like, yeah, there's a flesh eating bacteria. There's nothing but bones. <laughs> nothing but bones in that suit. It, it, it nothing him, but bones. It, it ate him so fast. <laughs> it was like ten seconds. You would if if that was out there, you would never go out there. You'd just be like, the leprechaun's gonna die in there. Just yeah. Keep, just keep the door locked. Yeah. And how did he get out anyways? Or in. That's a great question. <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> um Dr. Mittenhan informs the crew that he's not letting anyone off the ship. And that they are here to do his bidding, and he wants this figured out. The, the sergeant with the metal plate says, "I'm not going to risk the lives of my men so you could fart around with." <laughs> I'm not going. Okay, I'll do the impression. I'm not going to risk the lives of my men so you could fart around with your test tubes and other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's it. The writing is test so tubes and Other stuff. <laughs> um. Great line. Um, Dr. Mittenhan then reveals himself. And he's basically an shoulders with an arm and a head. Yeah. Um, on top of Conky from Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> just rolling around. That's all. It's just shoulders, one arm, and a head. Yes. On top of a giant metal rolling around body. I hated everything about this scene. Well, I hated well, the movie. This movie. Yeah. This scene, like, I, I really think they thought they were making a hilarious movie. <laughs> right? Because Dr. Mittenhands is typing on his... He's, like, using a keyboard to talk, but he uses his mouth at the same time. I don't understand, but... Or maybe the keyboard controls his mouth. These people have no clue how, how an Android works. No. Well, <laughs> he's using a keyboard, and then he starts, like, banging on it. And it causes 
It causes him to be like, and then he like gets embarrassed by it, and it's just like, oh. but like, <laughs> I think it was supposed to be funny. Like, oh no, you're right. Definitely, definitely they was. thought they were hilarious. <sighs> also, how about that scene where they start negotiating? Wait, the Doctor Manhattan wants them to stay on the ship. The Marines are like, no, fuck you, we're out of here. Unless you pay us, like, really well. And then they have, like, th- a three-minute yeah. negotiation <laughs> about points and percentages. <laughs> <laughs> so irrelevant to a plot. I think it was supposed to be a jab at, like, Hollywood. Like, Hollywood contracts and stuff. You are giving them way too much credit. Why, Why else? Are, it is insane. It's like they don't know what 5%, doing, Sean. 3%, 4%. <laughs> it's like, okay, what about two points on the gross? <laughs> what? Why is this happening? They know what that means just as much as I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is it is awful. Um, the leprechaun also starts talking about financials regarding marrying somebody. He kind of brings up, you know, there's going to be some financial issues. Like, I got to kill this gal and take her money. And I'm just starting to think, is this movie a statement on divorce? <laughs> divorce in the United States. No. You're thinking okay. way too far. So this, this is the most boring Leprechaun movie ever. Yes. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Um, oh boy. I mean, we're, what else do we want to talk about in this? I don't want to break this well, down. Much when, when, Paul, when Paul talked about, what's her name, Dolores falling, that noise that she makes when she hits the <laughs> ground is, is it, ooh, kill him. <laughs> 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 There's also a point at this in this point in the movie. Uh, my notes have uh, it says 87 dash dash zero K H Y, and that was because I fell asleep <laughs> at my keyboard. <laughs> uh, and then Wait, I had to restart it the next so, day. <laughs> oh, god. Um, no, I finished. Don't, don't can we talk about the best uh the, kill scene? We have to talk about when Leprechaun goes to the science lab. Yes, that's when everything goes down. Yeah, um, Leprechaun shows up at the science lab. <laughs> he rings the doorbell. Fucking doorbell. Like, ding dong. <laughs> but why does he do that? Because when the nerdy scientist guy looks through, he's like that naked scientist chick. Uh, and he like yeah. seduces him into opening it. And then, it. And then he breaks the fourth wall yes. as a naked chick. <laughs> and speaks to the camera. He does? Yeah, it was brutal. Oh, my God. And then he hits the guy in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he deserved it. And Dr. Mittenhand is just laughing at the leprechaun. <laughs> uh, they end up stabbing the leprechaun in the back. And then... The, the funniest thing I've ever the best seen in movie history. Uh, <laughs> leprechaun uses his... His lep powers. Tele- tele- telekinesis, telekinesis. To launch a plate yep. that looks like a flimsy pizza plate. <laughs> yeah, like a big metal tray. <laughs> <laughs> at, at Dr. Mittenhand's uh, bozo buddy's <laughs> head. <laughs> who, who just happened to be standing up against the wall. <laughs> but, but, so he uses it to like throw it, and it's going so fucking slow that it might like <laughs> it might like might make not him, even make, make him slightly him. annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> it might fall short, or it might just make him slightly annoyed by getting hit by it. But instead, what happens is it flattens his face. And when I say flattened, pancake. I mean his like their entire entire budget was like spent on making this idiot's face look like a pancake. <laughs> But his well, glasses like, didn't even break. I noticed that. Yeah, his glasses didn't break. His, his eyeballs His big so stupid it. nose. So, like, why would that have be flattened, too? Because they hit him right in the face. <laughs> like, all his features are right, but his cheeks were just, like, squished out. Yeah, it, it's insane. And how, is there any ever a moment you think in your life where you would be, um, there's something coming at you? And you would just put your back up against you, the wall. You would not, not put your hands up. Or duck. Or or take it right in the to your face. Side. That happens in horror movies all the time. You just stand up against the wall and just wait for death. <laughs> like, may- maybe if, like, a knife was coming towards you and you were in shock. But when a fucking piece of shit flimsy plate is going that slow and spinning in circles. The guy could have run laps around just the building the way. before the just thing got Just get out there. of the way. Oh, man. So... 
Oh my god! And then, and then, and then he ties up. Uh, what's his name? Mitten hands. Yeah, yeah, because Leprechaun he has sees... a ball gag for some reason, dude. I laughed like a so ball gag, fucking hard. <laughs> well, first of all, Leprechaun sees what he what they're doing with like reanimating bodies using the uh, his bride, alien bride's blood. So then, Leprechaun being fucking reckless, first of all, starts blending stuff without putting a lid on it, which is just outrageous. <laughs> just blending bugs, just blending <laughs> shit. Why? Why put bug? a fucking lid on <laughs> it? Why are there bugs in space? It made no sense. He starts. He's they. They've been messing with DNA to revive the dead or whatever. So he puts that in the blender, and then he just starts <laughs> grabbing bugs from seemingly nowhere. He's just like, oh, open a mess, and it's yeah, like a it's spider, like a scorpion and, it's a scorpion. and then like a tarantula. You're like, what the fuck? Where are you getting these things from? It, it, it's fucking ludicrous. dude. And then, so he takes that blended shit, puts it into a gigantic needle. And sticks it in Mittenham's head. Yeah. <laughs> Except they had no budget to actually stick in anything. So they just held it behind his head. <laughs> did, you, did you see how bad that was? I, bad no, that I did. It was just like me placing something by, like four feet behind your head. <laughs> and like, oh, it's out of frame now. So it looks like it went in your head. <laughs> they did that a and lot. And then the guy starts like tweaking. But he's got a ball gag. <laughs> then he's like, whoa. Yeah. I fucking lost it. And that turns Mittenham into Mitten Spider. <laughs> Yep. Yes. Or Brundle, Brundle, yeah. Brundle Spider. Brundle Spider. Br- Brundle, Brundle Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It is. I, I can barely follow this. I can barely, barely follow this. Um, I mean, we got to wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, but then the princess is, is naked for no reason. She She's shows not even boobs, which they claim is a death sentence. On her planet. <laughs> okay. And then there's a uh, a transvestite singing scene. That for happens. For no reason. Oh, my God. The sergeant is a cross-dresser and starts singing. For n- Why? No one knows. <laughs> no one knows. And then the leprechaun starts using, like, leprechaun has all these powers. He starts using guns. Yeah, the fights. That's and he's the worst shot the ever. Yeah, he's <laughs> terrible. The fucking worst. He, he used is. telekinesis to flatten a guy's face with a with a <laughs> plate, but he can't hit a shot with a gun. <laughs> like, couldn't he control where the bullets are going? Couldn't he just not use a gun? And then we also find out the sergeant was a cyborg. And this is supposed to be like a reveal. And I just didn't give a fuck. Nope. I could have cared less. I was like, <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? It's just an insane waste of time. Th- that is what this franchise is guilty of is just throwing shit in that you're like don't care this has nothing to do with the plot the leprechaun or anything else <laughs> this like movie that- was like five different movie yes. plots that they just put into one like yeah. they couldn't it was like at the meeting they couldn't decide which direction to go so they're like yeah fuck it let's do all of it it's so weird and the leprechaun sets the uh the ship to detonate and again no more leprechaun <sighs> tricks he just Uses the computer, <laughs> yeah. the ship's computer, and sets it to self destruct. How does he know how to do this shit? Classic ship bad guy move. Um, <laughs> Doctor Claw. <laughs> he then he then uses the shrink ray that they used for the gold, and somehow reverses it to make himself a giant. <laughs> and chases che- them checks around, out his package first of all. Checks out his dick and is like, <laughs> "All right, big is good." <laughs> That's what he said. All oh, right, I- big is good. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Wait, what are we talking about here? It's like... Why people, would you just announce that? Do you think the people who wrote the script used crayons while writing it? Yes. <laughs> if they even wrote it down. I don't even know if they did. Um, and then the girl ends up... Our main le- our lead like loses her pants randomly. Yeah. She's oh, just running around in underwear. Brundle hand rips it right off her yeah. when she's in the vent. <laughs> Brundle hand. <laughs> um, they end up opening that escape hatch door and sucking leprechaun off <laughs> into space. But now it takes, it takes like 20 minutes of him. Oh yeah. Searching for the Marine. Yeah. It's so it's long. So long. It's so long. The, the end is so long and, and they're God. only in one area. They're in a warehouse and the leprechaun could have made that two minutes. See everything. You could just <laughs> step on everything. Oh, but, but the ship's still going to explode. They have to come up with this password. Um, try scientists. One of them says, so, "Why would why would that even be the password?" And then, um, then uh, the lead runs in. And he, he goes, "You can get it. Just relax." 
What the fuck are you talking? I can get it. Just guessing passwords. Why would There's like six seconds that? left, by the you way. You would just be kissing your life goodbye. You would just be like, this is it, guys. Right. It's just. Um, and then it ends up being wizard, which they act like is a reveal, like that we'd be like, oh, yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> I had no idea why, <laughs> why it was wizard. I, I don't either. I guess Br- referred Brundle to Hand referred wizard. to himself as a wizard. Did he do it in the movie, though? Yeah. Are you sure? It's just that no one cared when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it cuts to the screen as she's typing wizard in, and it is in Comic Sans font. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what computer has this font as a default? <laughs> it was so weird. Especially in the future. Um, and then they uh, they see um, the leprechaun's hand floating in space, giving them the middle, middle finger. Because, because when they sucked him out, he blew up, right? Yeah. yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was he not on a planet in outer space? Yeah. In the With beginning no of the movie? helmet. Yeah, you're right, yes, and he correct. did not blow up. This Shit, correct. Wait, were the Marines even wearing helmets? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. They couldn't afford it. They just had shitty ass this flag movie, jacket. This movie was trash. Fucking dog shit. The actors were terrible. Would you have enjoyed it more though if the leprechaun was in that hazmat suit the entire time? Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. If it was hazmats and sucking up in dicks all day. <laughs> well, holy cow. This is a long one, guys. <laughs> it's maybe three episodes. This is a very long, long two episodes. All right, guys. That's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for listening to that. The end of that episode kind of got cut off abruptly because, like I said, we had started recording uh, Leprechaun in the Hood. We were planning doing every movie that night, and my throat was so raw. And listening to it, you, you can't even tell, I don't think. I don't know. I guess you'd have to put them side by side to when I'm not sick. Um, so, uh, I don't know. What am I talking about? Uh, guys, thank you so much for downloading. Uh, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Uh, and, of course, that helps us the most. But if you, even if you just tell a friend, that helps us out so much. And we really appreciate it. Um, so, thank you for that. If you do leave us a review, I've seen some new reviews up. But I haven't gotten any emails. If you do want a free sticker, send us an email. Uh, at uh <laughs> shoot i hate horror show at gmail.com uh you can find me on twitter and by the way you guys can contact us anyway to get those stickers i don't care how you do it but uh twitter uh at i hate horror show joe is at at joe v 421 uh we're on facebook.com slash i hate horror that's probably the best place to go for news and information and stuff um i found posting there is the easiest um we're on instagram we're on all those sites you you can find us basically through the facebook page and uh once those pre-order shirts get shipped we will be putting the rest of the shirts up for sale which is awesome so get ready for that we'll have those up for order uh very soon Uh, i'm trying to think if there's anything else there isn't so go watch back in the hood or leprechaun in the hood leprechaun back to the hood and uh, check out Rumpelstiltskin, which I believe is legally available for free on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I think it's an MGM movie. And they uh, release them. Um, so maybe I'll post it on our Facebook page. Guys, I'm not kidding when I tell you that is one of my favorite movies ever when I was a kid. No joke. Was big into the uh, fairy tale horror movies. Loved them. Loved them so much. <sighs> But especially Rumpelstiltskin. I don't know why. I rented it like six times. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm going to watch this. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to watch this and want to like just jump out a window probably. So get ready for that. It's going to be lots of fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. And now that we're kind of back on uh, back in the swing of things, I think we can plan some really fun stuff for this summer. So send us your ideas, suggestions. Tell us what you think of the show. Um, but if you have suggestions for movies, definitely send them to us. I know we get a lot. And a lot of times I'll reply with like, oh, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Um, that's not just bullshit. I, I try and keep a list of everything we get because I do want to check them all out. So send them to us. Um, just about timing. Send them to us and let us know. Um, that's really it, guys. So for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios. Adios.